There's not much at the top. Let's start at the top. <laughs> Everyone put Team Liquid number one. Boring. Everyone knows they're going to be the best team, I think. On, at least on paper. They're the odds on favorite. You can say, I think this will be the year that they finally, or like the split they finally fail, but you're not basing that off anything other than like at some point, everything ends. <laughs> there we go. Oh! oh. Uh, Double Lift already told us he's not going to pick Senna, so we'll pick Aphelios. I think that it would be yeah. either MF or Varus. Oh my. Ah! <laughs> he's a kill after kill after kill. Oh! Gets shut down. Oh my goodness gracious. He gets the Garden Angel. He gets the Elder Dragon. Oh he gets my the God. A Penta kill for Apollo. I feel like I'm playing really well. I'm putting in as much effort as I can, and it's just not working. I don't know what there is to do for me at this point. It can be really hard to stay motivated yeah, when you're at the top. Say. And if you're not staying incredibly disciplined and still outworking all these other teams, someone can catch up. Ooh, kicking off with the tough questions already. Where did it start going wrong? I kept believing the entire way. I, I kept believing that we could make it to playoffs up until the point that we threw the game against C9. You know, seeing that defeat screen and knowing that we were out was really heartbreaking, I'm not gonna lie. We won a voice call, right? Right after we lost, there was silence with everyone realizing, like, wow, we, we actually were out. We didn't even make playoffs. Like, how surreal is that? And that those minutes were very brutal, that's for sure. Uh, with everyone being silent and everyone thinking the same thing and just being, being mind blown about how, how wrong everything went to split. The feeling after. It can be compared to like losing a final or getting kicked out of worlds or something like this, but the difference is that normally when I've had heartbreaking losses, we would have achieved something, you know, getting knocked out in, in a, an LAC final or something. But this time, not only was it heartbreaking, it, it's also just straight up embarrassing, honestly. I could come up with a lot of excuses explaining why we didn't make it, why we didn't make the miracle happen, and why we're not in playoffs right now. But honestly, I think our team doesn't deserve to go to playoffs. With how we've been playing, how we've been solving our issues, and with how slowly we have improved, we just didn't deserve it. So I know that the scoreboard is the scoreboard. There's no changing that. And we started slow. That's just a matter of fact. Like, we haven't been good, except it. There is nothing that you can do now to change that history. 
Like what matters most is the attitude that you guys have. It takes some um, passion to want to win. And the thing is, is that if you don't believe that you can win, you've already lost. And if it doesn't pay off, it doesn't pay off. But I think the one thing that isn't okay is that if we've given up already, so just do not give up. I don't know if we really had an identity this split. I think we were kind of just playing the game based on how the game went. I think it's Cocoon. I Ola can be here soon. Yeah, I don't think we it was kind of just like everything happened on the fly because like someone would die early game and then we'd you know have to play around that instead of like having to play around our own plan more so. I think I might die here. I can die. Yeah. We've been playing the same way for every year. But the thing is, game is changing. The game, the game matter. We need to adapt at some point, but we failed to adapt. No, no, no. Okay, 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 okay. Just out. I never really felt like at any point during the season we had a chance to like really build something or really build like a team, a team identity, a team playstyle, any of these things. Wait, pass the flash, pass the flash. We lost playstyle, I think. I think problem is too many random core. Uh, we're not same page by pen, by people. Everyone other core, other different way is so random. Oh, back, back. back they come I can move, I can move. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fighting here. I'm, 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 I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. My bad. I didn't know Reactor was behind me. Back, just back. Core, your mic's muted or something if you're talking. I, I haven't heard you in like five minutes. Core? Core? Are we pausing? Okay. Yeah. I think we just paused because I haven't heard Core talk in like. Yeah. Forever. Same. Oh, your mic's just muted on Discord, Core. You seen it on mute on Discord. There. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh shit, we no person, one person. Oh, uh, holy I, fuck, I, that's why. How does I the only one that noticed that Core hasn't been talking for like five minutes? I mean, even though we put up a fight against C9, like, I don't think it was because we like, particularly that we played super well, I think, I think they just played really bad. I mean, we for sure showed life as a team, like we did play more as a team and played better together, but, but still like, the way we lost and the mistakes we made were just still like so pathetic, I think. People think it's one chain change or I don't think so. Play by men just together is more important to improve just team game. When I stepped into the team after arriving in LA, I stepped into a bit of a fire. We need to figure out how to get out of the slump, how to move forward and how to empower each player to actually be able to do their job and, and play at the, the highest level, play to the level that everyone can actually play at. Obviously my relationship with my teammates deteriorated this year. Core is like someone that I can really believe in and I think it's cool that he believes in me, so uh, I really want to, you know, repair my relationship with him and I think that took a really big positive swing upwards from that, but that relationship level is where you should we should have started off at. It was like too late in the split where we could have made a humongous difference on like the team play. But I think my relationship with him definitely got a lot better towards the end. I'm able to like learn from this and you know obviously you don't you don't really grow unless you like experience some sort of pain or stress or struggle or like conflict so you know this is definitely one of the more like stressful times in my life whether it's just like feeling frustrated about my motivation or about spring split or it's just like I'm I'm sick and then I'm benched and then oh shit we we're not going to make playoffs or we might make play then we don't make it and then like it's just been so stressful and I'm not trying to say that to like garner sympathy or anything but i think the fans should know that like i'm not just cruising like i'm trying my best and it's a bit too late i know i've been building piece by piece you know i feel like i've been climbing stairs i guess and i, I just fell down a couple but i'm still climbing so i really want to build something long lasting for myself yeah I, that's for me the end goal
what I want to be for next split for next year is becoming the player as a whole team can rely on me so they can play their best play I want to make everyone perform their best play, best performance I won't break their limit mainly I think we need to find our team identity I think even though, like we, we missed the playoff I hope this give us more time to prepare for summer split this give us chance to find team identity I just believe it.